Razer is a well-known gaming hardware manufacturer focusing on gaming peripherals and the Blade series of laptops. Today we will take apart the power adapter for Razer's Blade laptops. This adapter can be up to 280 watts, and it integrates GAN transistors from GAN systems, so its size is much smaller than traditional laptop power adapters. This adapter adopts the traditional design and looks like a brick. The braided power cord is detachable and fixed with a rubber cable tie. All specs info is at the bottom. It has been qualified to multiple standards. The manufacturer is Honor Electronic. The model of this adapter is RC30-042, which supports an input of 120 volts, 50 or 60 hertz, 4 amp, and an output of 19.5 volts, 14.36 amp. Here is the output end. The cable is parallel to the adapter for easy of use. There is also an LED indicator next to it. The input socket is on the other side. This is not a USB-C connector, but a proprietary connector for Razer laptops. The size of the charger is about 163 by 70 by 24.6 mm. The length of the output cable is about 2 meters. And the weight is about 654 grams. After the brief injection, let's take it apart and check the internal components, including the GAN components. The internal PCBA module is wrapped with pure carbon heatsink. The silicon adhesives are applied to the heatsink to enhance heat dissipation. Here are the output wires. Two white wires are positive and the black wire is negative. And the thin red wire is used for power identification. Remove the heatsink. All plugging components are on the front. And then clean up the PCBA module. We can see the PFC boost inductor and resonant inductor. The back of the module is much simpler. The largest component is the PFC boost inductor. Chuchu Lab found it adopts the PFC circuit and LLC topology, and the controller can output the fixed voltage to charge the laptop. Let's introduce every single component. The input fuse is from Conquer and is used for input over current protection, 6.3 amp, 250 volts. The common mode choke is green and is wound with insulated wires. The safety X2 capacitor is 0.47 microfarad. The second common mode choke is wrapped with tape for insulation. Those six bridge rectifiers on this small vertical PCB can form three full bridge circuits to dissipate heat evenly. The rated current is 3 amp. The filter capacitor is from Surong, 1 microfarad, 450 volts. Here is the output filter inductor. Those two film capacitors are from Surong, and the smaller one is 0.47 microfarad, 450 volts. Another larger capacitor is 1 microfarad, 450 volts. Those two GAN transistors are connected in parallel and used for the PFC boost. Model is GAN systems GS-065-030-2-L. It simplifies the gate drive requirements and has better reliability. 650 volts, 50 mA. The silicon carbide diode is from Han and adopts the TO252 package. With standard voltage is 650 volts. The PFC boost inductor is placed in the hollow of the PFC to reduce the thickness. The magnetic core is wrapped with copper foil for shielding. The plastic case can insulate the high voltage capacitor and low voltage components. Two electrolytic capacitors are from Soscan, 100 microfarad, 450 volts. The primary controller is from NXP, which connects as LLC and PFC controller. 
It also integrates high voltage startup, X capacitor discharge, and driver, which can simplify the circuit. Those two LLC MOSFETs are from Oriental Semi. They have low ohm resistance and lower gate charge, which can reduce loss and improve performance. 650 volts, 190 milliohm. Those two power supply capacitors for the primary controller are 330 microfarad, 25 volts, and 220 microfarad, 25 volts, respectively. The LLC resident capacitor is from Strong, 0.047 microfarad, 630 volts. The magnetic core of the resident inductor is marked with EQ19, and the low voltage side of the transformer is tightly wound with tape for insulation. Two EL1013 optocouplers are used for auto voltage feedback and protection, respectively. The blue white capacitor is from STE. The secondary synchronous rectifier controller is from NXP. It integrates two drivers, which can drive two synchronous rectifier MOSFETs at the same time. The synchronous rectifier is from Infineon and adopts Super S08 package, 60 volts, 2.8 milliohm. Those five output filter capacitors are the same. All of them are from Polycap, used for output filtering, 470 microfarad, 25 volts. Here is the dual operational amplifier from Diodes. It can work with sampling resistor to detect the output current. The sampling resistor is used for output current acquisition. Here is the output power indicator. Well, that's all components of this Razer 280W scan charger. This Razer 280W power adapter is smaller than traditional power adapter because of the gain components. You can even replace another detachable braided cable when broken, making it more durable. With the indicator light, you can easily get the working status. Okay, that's all for today's video. You can also click the corners to see other products using GAN transistors from GAN Systems. If you like this video, please drop a like, leave your comments, and subscribe to us. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye!